blues. Life of awakening, the only message. Indeed, a moment to moment life of awareness is the message of an awakened one. Consciousness is the core of his existence. Buddha taught his monks to be mindful of his small things as the methodology to attain to crystallization of consciousness. When you are mindful of small things, you grow in consciousness each moment, with each situation, with each circumstance. As you grow in consciousness, the moment of unconsciousness begins to get less and less and then one day the season of spring comes and consciousness blossoms into awakening. In the beginning, the thoughts remain floating on the inner sky. When consciousness is without thinking, it is awareness. We are trained for doing. Doing brings and strengthens ego. Ego is the shadow of action. And being strengthened, being strengthens consciousness. Then there is only one thing that is not doing and that is awareness, watchfulness, witnessing. Watchfulness brings witnessing. The only thing that is not part of the world of actions is pure awareness. No shadow is created by pure awareness. It is so pure that light can pass through it. It is transparent and no shadow is created. Consciousness without thinking is awareness. Being alert and with no thought of benediction, try it. Whenever you see thinking gathering in you, disperse it immediately and mindfully. Pull yourself out of it. Look at the trees without the screen of thinking between you and the trees. Listen to the chirping of the birds and no chirping of the bird, no chirping of the mind inside. Look at the sun rising and feel that inside you are also a sun of consciousness that is rising. But do not think about it, assert or state or say. Simply be and by and by you will start feeling glimpses of awareness as if fresh breeze has entered into the room which was getting stale and dead. Or as if a ray of light has entered into the dark night of your soul. Or as if suddenly life has called you back. The deeper your watchfulness becomes in the same proportion, your awareness deepens and then gaps and intervals starts arising. One thought comes and then has dispersed, but the next thought has not yet come. There is a gap. One cloud has passed and before another comes, there is again a gap. In those gaps for the first time, you will have glimpses of or taste of no mind. You can call it taste of Zen or Tao or Yoga. Names do not matter. In those small intervals, suddenly the sky is clear and sun is shining. Suddenly the world is full of mystery because all barriers have dropped. The screen on your eyes is no more there. You see clearly and penetratingly. Then whole existence becomes transparent for you. Remember, the innermost core or innerness or flowering of being is witnessing, awareness, watchfulness. You can call it anything, but it will be another name of witnessing. Truth alone is pure awareness and when truth begins to blossom through you, know this as the flowering of consciousness. As consciousness flowers, you are more and more aware. Just by being aware, 
thoughts start dispersing there is no need to fight your awareness is enough to destroy any thought and when the mind is empty the temple is ready and inside the temple the only god worth placing is silence your oneness so these three words you have to remember relaxation thoughtlessness and silence if there if these three words are no more words to you instead have become experience your life will be transformed through the practice of mindfulness one can attain to awareness however only a few people are born with awareness those are the people who die full of awareness and enter new life full of awareness once again if death was conscious then birth will be conscious as well because death is one side and the birth is another side this is why my so much emphasis is on being awake and alert when you are awake through life's roads then you will be aware in the final moments of death as well death will be welcoming to you a conscious death brings conscious birth as well indeed it is benediction to be born conscious and die conscious as well awareness is the greatest alchemy possible just go on becoming more and more aware and you will find your life starts changing for better in every single dimension even the dimension that you have never imagined it will bring great fulfillment mahabir worked out that if a man can remember and be aware for 48 minutes continuously that is enough 48 minutes continuous awareness is enough he will be enlightened and nobody can prevent him just 48 minutes is enough to be enlightened but it is difficult even for 48 seconds for awareness you need not renounce the world or go to the mountains or monasteries or anywhere else your life gives you enough opportunities to be aware each moment a circumstance and situation comes that gives you the opportunity to be aware each moment circumstances and situations come when you can be aware or unaware you can choose to be happy or unhappy human body is formed and remains conditioned by time and space human body is formed and remains conditioned by time and space thus human body assumes birth and attains to death however a buddha an awakened one is eternal beyond time and space unconditioned by anything finite buddha would remains eternal beyond birth and death but consciousness can not manifest without the form so both consciousness and body are embedded into one another consciousness is the software and birth and body and its instruments are the hardware therefore seek that which is eternal beyond time and space it is your essence it is your essential nature your beingness your innerness too this is the message blessing and aspiration of tau for each one of you this is the message blessing and aspiration of tau for each one of you on this day when you have sent 
your best wishes for Tao. Tao may or may not be certainly you, you shall attain to your ultimate flowering one day. Tao may or may not be but certainly you shall attain to your ultimate flowering one day. Allow the journey to continue with certitude. Allow this journey to continue with certitude. Such is the promise of the existence. Such is the promise of existence for entire creation. And may my being May my being, my life, my awareness be blessing for you all. It is erroneous to say my, but language is the only thing to communicate. The being, the life, the awareness is the only blessing for each one of you now and ever. Blessing to each one of you.